So let's take a look at multiplying rational expressions. Um, again, just like simplifying, the first thing you want to do is you want to try to factor anything you can. So I look up here and I can see there's a GCF here of 3, and then down here in the denominator of the second one there's a GCF of 5. So we're going to start by factoring everything we can. In this top one we're going to take out a 3, and what's going to be left after we take the 3 out is going to be C minus 3 divided by 12 is 4. Now in the denominator, uh, we're just going to leave that as a 14. Um, and then we still have times. We're going to leave 21. And then in the bottom, there's a GCF of 5. So we're going to take the 5 out, and that's going to give us C minus 4 as well. Now, take a look right here. And you can see that we have a C minus 4 over here and a C minus 4 over here, right? So we can cancel out those factors of C minus 4, and what we're going to have left is going to be, on the top we have 3 times 21, and on the bottom we have 14 times 5. And now, before I multiply these numbers together, I think I can cancel some stuff out. So I'm going to write everything as a prime factorization. So 3 is still just 3, right? Now, how would we write the prime factorization of 21? Well, we know we can write 21 as what? 7 and 3, right? So over here, this is going to be 3, and then we're going to rewrite 21 as 7 times 3. On the bottom, um, over here, we know that 14, we can represent 14 as what two factors? 2 and 7. So I'm going to write 14 as 2 times 7, and then we still have that 5 down there. Now, Take a look at, this is how we simplify numbers uh, when we just have numbers left over. So we can see that there's a 7 on the top and the bottom, so we can go ahead and cancel those out, and then we're just going to multiply across. So after we cancel those 7s out, let's take a look, and we have 3 times 3, which is going to give us 9, and 2 times 5 will give us 10. And that's our final answer for that one. All right, now let's go down here and take a look at another one. This one's a little bit more complicated. We have w squared minus 4w minus 5 over w squared minus 1 times w squared minus w minus 20 over w squared minus 10w plus 25. So we're going to be doing long or short key factoring here, short key factoring here, short key factoring here, and then this w squared minus 1 is a difference of squares. So let's look at this first one, w squared minus 4w minus 5. We're looking for factors of negative 5 that are going to add to negative 4. So we know that those factors are going to be what? It's going to be negative 5 and positive 1. So this first one is going to factor into w minus 5 and w plus 1. The denominator, we said right here that this w squared minus 1, that's a difference of squares. So that's going to factor into uh, the square root of 1 is 1, so this is going to factor into w plus 1 and w minus 1. Now let's take a look at this one up here, w squared minus w minus 20. We're looking for factors of negative 20 that add to negative 1. Factors of negative 20 that will add to negative 1 are going to be negative 5 and positive 4. So we know that this, the numerator of the second fraction is going to factor into w minus 5 and w plus 4. And now let's take a look at this denominator over here. Factors of 25 that add to negative 10, those are going to be what? It's going to be negative 5 and negative 5, right? So we know this denominator over here is going to factor into w minus 5 and w minus 5. So now that we've got everything factored, we see this was a short key, this is a difference of square, short key, short key, anything, on, just like simplifying fractions, anything that matches up on the top with anything on the bottom, we can cancel it out. So we have a w minus 5 here, and we have a w minus 5 over here, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cancel those out. Now, I take a look over here, and we've got a w plus 1 here and a w plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and cancel those out. Similarly, I have one more w minus 5 on the top and the bottom. I can get rid of those, so we're going to get rid of those, cross those out. And we can see what we have left on top is a w plus 4, and a, on the bottom we have a w minus 1. So our final answer is going to be w plus 4 over w minus 1.